Today we're gonna draw and paint some fish. B. 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 You wanna make fish? Yeah. You will need some crayons or colored pencils to draw with and some watercolors to paint with. B. You ready to paint? Let's get started. have a tail. So I'm going to use ovals and then add tails onto those. Some fish are big and round, more like a circle. So I'm just going to squash this circle a little bit and make an oval. And some fish are more long, so I can make some long ovals. And I leave some space between them so that I can add tails when I'm ready. All different size ovals. All right. Oh, that's looking beautiful. Now we're gonna add some tails to our fish. So I'm gonna start on one end of my oval and I'm gonna make a line coming out, a line coming out, and a line connecting those two. All right, it's almost like part of a triangle that I'm making the tail out of. I could use two triangles to make my tail. Let's do that. If I think of this as one side, and then I add a side, add a side, and then I'm gonna do the same thing this way. Add a side, add a side. There's a tail for that fish. I also want to add some little swimming fins to my fish. Just like that. Alright, let me finish up. You ready to paint? Yeah. We still need some faces for our fish. I'm going to do two circles for each of my fishy eyes. I do a big circle and a small circle. I could color that in if I want. And then I'm also going to give my fish some mouths, like this. If I want to make my fish look really fishy, I could also add some curving lines for scales. Curve, curve. I stop at the fin. Curve, curve. Curve, curve, curve. Curve, curve. Curve, 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 curve. And then I'll keep going. This is a great time to hit that pause button and catch up. We're gonna color our fish completely before we paint the water. Pause again whenever you need to. Now we're going to paint. We're using watercolor to paint our oceans and I'm gonna use my watercolor and paint the space right over the fish. Let's see what happens. And make sure I have plenty of water in my brush and I just paint right on top of the fish. You might notice that the crayon is still showing through and it makes it look like the fish is underwater. So I'm gonna finish painting my picture. Crayons are made with wax and waxy surfaces are slick. This is why the watercolor paint won't cover up your coloring.
Charlotte and I are all done painting, but our paper is really wet. So we're gonna come back later and see what it looks like when it's all dry. Happy painting!